Hello and welcome to this video on finding fractions of an amount. Let's just say that we wanted to find half of six. Now if we have six things, to find half of it basically means to split that into two. We're splitting it into halves. Now how many things do we have now if we halve it? Well we just have one, two, three. So we would have three things if we had half of six. And the way we can basically do it is that we divide the six by the denominator of the fraction. So we divide the six by the two and we got three. But that only works if we have one at the top. So if we do these first examples here, if I want to find a quarter of 20, well then I just need to do 20 divided by four and that would be five. What about the next one? I want to find one seventh of 28. So I'm splitting 28 into seven. 28 divided by seven would be four. Now this next one, if I want two fifths of 35, now this is a bit different because I don't want one fifth of 35, I want two fifths. So what we could work out first is, well, what's one fifth of 35? Well, one fifth of 35 is 35 divided by five. We're splitting the 35 into five and that would be seven. So if one fifth of 35 is seven, what would be two fifths? Now if one fifth of 35 was seven, then two fifths would be twice as much as a fifth of it. So twice as much as seven would be 14. So basically what we do is we divide the 35 by the denominator, so we divide by that, and then we multiply by the top number. So if we do another example, we've got three eighths of 32. Well, we divide the 32 by the denominator, which gives us four, and then four multiplied by three gives you 12, so the answer would be 12. Let's do a few more. Four elevenths of 99. Well, we divide 99 by 11, which is nine, and then you multiply that nine by four. Nine multiplied by four is 36. Then the sixth one, a bit harder, we've got two thirds of three quarters of 24. Well, let's do this in bits. Let's first work out what is three quarters of 24. So three quarters of 24, well, we divide the 24 by four, which is six, multiplied by the three is 18. So now we're finding two thirds of, and we know this whole thing here was 18. So what's two thirds of 18? Well, 18 divided by three is six, six multiplied by two is 12. And let's finish with this word example. I've said that of my 30 friends, two fifths of them ate porridge this morning and a sixth ate cereal, the rest ate fruit. How many friends were this? Well, let's work out how many ate porridge first. So porridge eaters, we've got two fifths of the 30 friends. We divide the 30 by five, which is six, multiplied by that two is 12. And then what about how many ate cereal? We just want a sixth of your 30 friends, so a sixth of 30. We just do 30 divided by six is five, multiplied by one is five. And then, well, we had 30 friends. Well, 12 plus five is 17. So 17 ate either cereal or porridge, and the remaining people ate fruit. So we just need to do 30, subtract the 17, and it must be that those 13 people left must have eaten the fruit.